What's up everyone? How are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install MS SQL Server 2022 using Docker in Ubuntu 24.10. So uh, in my last video, I've shown you how to install Oracle 21C Express Edition uh, on Ubuntu machine using Docker. Because we know that Oracle can database, database cannot be installed in Ubuntu. Uh, so Docker is the only solution. But uh, MS SQL Server is installable, so why I am ma making this video? One first of first of all, I am making this video for knowledge purpose because uh, you can Docker has a lot of advantages, creating creating multiple um, instances, creating multiple machines. Okay, um, multiple instance in a single machine or multiple instance on multiple machines. Okay, these kind of things uh, can be done. And another thing is there is a bug in MS SQL Server 2022 installing in while installing in Ubuntu 24.1.1.0. So that uh, so Docker is the only solution. So let us start. Uh, the first uh, one is I have to pull the image from the this mcr.microsoft.com MS SQL Server colon latest. I uh, will not uh, do this uh, part because I have already pulled the image i'll show you sudo docker image okay so we have this mmcrmicrosoft.com uh, ms sql server okay oops it's created showing four not four weeks ago it's just created uh, okay so the next one is uh, i will run this command this is docker run hyphen e uh, uh, accepting the eul agreement then setting the password this is for by default for sa system administrator port is 1433 um, okay map to 1433 it is always be mapped to 1433 i'll later on i'll show you creating multiple instance on same host name okay so i'll go and create this Now let us see sudo docker ps. Okay. Now let us go one thing. Uh, go. I'm going to. This is a remote machine. I'm doing it on the remote machine. The IP is 192.168.29.219. Now this is my ho main host machine. Here I will do a telnet. Telnet 192.168. 29 to 119 1433 okay so the reason is uh, i have to do a sudo docker start sql server 1 okay it actually supposed to start but uh, if you don't start you have to execute this command okay sometimes it starts sometimes it don't next uh, what we will do we will connect this using sql cmd so i have this sql cmd the command is uh, you because this is a command you have to use the exe uh, you have to give this hyphen it and then the name of the instance then the IP address because here the it is a host name. If you want to connect to um, remotely, you can do this using giving the IP address because we have already tested with the telnet. So hyphen C hyphen capital hyphen P is password and hyphen capital C is for ignoring the certificate because if you don't give this, it will give a certificate error and prevent you from connection. Connected let's do user use master go connected okay uh, let us go to the sql i'm using oracle sql developer to connect okay so let us go here we have this connection already username sa password is uh, mm, the password uh, that is there this is the host name and because see uh, because this is in remote computer i'm using the ip address 192.168.29 219 port is 1433 test 
you can also do a refresh database okay so the test is test is successful now save it it's already there okay so it is successful okay it is there now what we will do we will create multiple instance we are creating four four instances uh, let us uh, keep it to three now next one is i will keep all the same password same now here the port map will be mapping port will be one foot uh, port will be one four three four map to uh, because the mapping port will be same one four three three for a school server okay and the next one is a one four three five map to one four three three here the instance name will be sql server 2 here it will be sql server 3 and host name will be same i'll keep the host name same now first one is done let us do this two okay some problem it's not copied extremely sorry going on going on going on now let us see we have to start it let's wait for a while because the instance let's instance start if we don't uh, connect uh, we will what we'll do we will uh, give the command sudo docker start two and three i think it will not connect it takes some time or i have to use this not found so sudo docker start sql server two sql server three clear it now against uh, try this Let us do the telnet first. One four three four connected. This is my local host machine. One four three five. Let us go to the remote machine. Now let us connect it. It's still still giving problem yes it is connecting now it takes some time because i'm using multiple instances okay oh sorry it's a use not user use master go done now let us go and start the three done use master go now let us go to SQL developer. Go to the properties. We'll just change the port number. 1434. Retrieve database. Successful. Test. Successful. Okay. Now again 1435. Retrieve database. Successful. Test. Successful. Okay. So we are connecting successfully connecting to all the three instances okay now <coughs> what we will do we will clean up everything i'll show you how to clean up all the instances so for that we will be giving something let us first write this sudo stop sql server one sudo stop SQL server 1 okay we will not use the instance name we will use the container id so just do sudo docker ps now we will copy the container id and paste it here sorry this is sudo not stop this is rm i'll remove first we will stop this and then remove this 
copy the next container id that is sql server 2 first one is 3 then 2 and last one is 1 enter okay there is some issue sorry I'm extremely sorry there is a docker <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm just did a great huge mess here <sighs> thank god this is machine <laughs> doing such a horrible mistake now what we will do we will do another docker ps nothing is there ps hyphen a all the SQL server gone only th this hello world is there okay so we can see that it is so many so time saving so efficient this docker is just an awesome tool okay you just create uh, multiple instance multiple host and install multiple instance you can set up a day uh, all mm, like mysql oracle sql server database within our using docker okay so that's all about this video i hope uh, you like this if you like this please press the like button and uh, by the way uh, let me add i will come up with another video where i will show you how to come uh, through command line how to attach the database to sql server now what is attached database like you know the data file is mdf and ldf mdf is the master data file ldf is the log data file now suppose you have some sql server installed with some database and that uh, sql server got corrupted okay after that uh, what uh, you, your data will be lost if you don't have a backup thank god you have this data so what you will do you copy the data file and then bring it here uh, install the msql server using docker then use the sp atta underscore attach underscore db command to attach this database and keep it running so i'll come up in the next video uh, wait for it uh, if you like this video please press the like button also subscribe to my channel thank you so much